Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today, a uh, real quick video, I had to go pick up a torch, a little micro torch from Harbor Freight for a project the wife is doing. Um, I'm going to take it after she's done with it. Uh, the old one I had doesn't work anymore, so I had to pick up a new one. Uh, so this little thing right here is a butane torch, uh, runs 15 bucks plus a coupon, 20% off, whatever that is, cheap. Um, Pretty simple, not much to it, not much to this video. Um, the reason I bought it for her is because she's epoxying stainless cups and uh, as you know when you do that you tend to get some bubbles so throw a little heat on them, sometimes they pop and you get a lot smoother finish. Uh, so anyway, this thing's pretty simple, just a little uh, butane torch. Um, let's open it up. Yeah, no need to be gentle here. Alright, so just out of the box, it is very cheap, plasticky feeling. Uh, oop. And it is probably some really cheap metal too. Obviously, it's it's Harbor Freight brand, so it's gonna be cheap. Alright, so just real quick, get into it real fast. It has a gas plus and minus. You got your igniter in the back. You obviously have this little safety switch here for uh, keeping children out of it, I guess. Anyway, um, right here, this is a continuous switch on the side, so after you ignite it, if you hold that down so it keeps going so you don't have to hold the button on the back, um, you have an adjustable oxygen uh, thing here. Um, not really sure what that would be used for, but either way, it's there. So, uh, Plastic uh, sleeve on the outside, plastic on the top, obviously metal, some sort of fire retardant ceramic or something I'm assuming in the tip of it. Uh, uh, let PSO igniter I'm assuming, uh, push button. So, um, And your fill at the bottom, just like uh, any other butane torch device. It's got uh, you know some instructions in the back, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure everybody here knows how to use one of these. Alright, let's fill it up, check it out. <clears throat> All right, turn it upside down. So push this in. This always scares the heck out of me. I don't know why. I guess from what I understand, when you start filling it up and it starts overflowing, that means it's full. But man, surely that can't be full. Uh, well, maybe it is. All right, that was quick. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Ooh, it's all right. Continuous works. Let's uh, see what happens when we choke off the oxygen. So this little safety switch, you really got to dig your nail in there, but it goes. Uh, let's see, let's turn the dial. Oh yeah. That's uh, a little bit more of an intense or less intense flame, or at least it makes more noise. I don't know if it's actually more or less intense, but uh, yeah. So, like I said, real boring little video. Um, Harbor Freight micro torch feels cheap, is cheap, but uh, you get what you pay for. And a little tool like this, you know, we don't plan on using it a whole bunch, so it'll it'll serve its purpose. And I'm Burns Matic sells one almost identical to this. I'm sure the plastics may be a little better, if that. It's got some blue um, accents on it, and it's $25. So you're going to spend another $10 on a Burns Matic. Uh, so if you're not planning on using it a whole bunch, hey, this is probably perfect for you. Okay, thanks for watching the video.